Hello, spider slaying tubers! And welcome back to Let's Play Undertale with me! Where our last episode we took out our spider foe, who uh, trapped us in a web and tried to eat us. As is totally justified, you try to cook me up, then uh, I think you deserve what you get for it. So let's continue our adventure in trying to escape this monster land. It's this poster for Mediton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Uh-oh. Oh, that human! Could it be? My one true love? This is totally the opera scene from Final Fantasy VI. Is she gonna throw a bouquet off the top? And then jump? <laughs> it's even got the same kind of tune. Exactly! <laughs> uh, oh my love, please run away! Monster King forbids your stay. <laughs> a humans must! Live far apart, even if it breaks my heart, they'll put you in the touch. I don't know if I should be dodging all of these. It'll suck, and then you'll die a lot. <laughs> Really sad. <laughs> You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. <laughs> Sorry for that terrible singing performance, everyone. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles! <laughs> no matter where you stand, she had a button for it. <sighs> oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own, oh, no. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Sorta. That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great! Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Uh-huh. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... <laughs> you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. ha 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 ha! My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling! As, I'm, not re I'm not singing. I don't know how you're supposed to get through this. Um. You can't go through. Oh. No. Uh. How the heck would you get past this? Oh, the yellow tiles are... Wait. Wasn't there something about lemon and then this, that you won't get bitten by the prawns? Oh, I'm so sorry. It looks like you're... I mean, I made it at least four rows in. <laughs> Here come the flames, darling. Um, Elphys, please. Help. Getting closer. Oh, my. Any minute now. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! It's the wall of fire, thank you! <laughs> oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Elphys. <laughs> I wonder if you can even complete this maze. That's right! Come on, Meditan! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! 
Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over. Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound. Then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Uh-oh. Metaton attacks. He's got some jiving music, at least. Well, let's check him out again. Defense way too much. His metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Oh, yellow. Press the yellow button. You press. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Heart. Upside down. Now press Z. Ooh. Neat. <laughs> oh. Oh. You've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. <laughs> no sarcasm detected. Looks like you beat him. You did a real great job out there. All thanks to you. Yeah, all thanks to you. You know what? Honestly, if she hadn't given us the cell phone that turned into a little shooter, we'd have been in trouble. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? B before I met you, I di didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like, I couldn't do a anything without... Without letting everyone down. But, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Now, Alphys has been a pain in my rear with all of the phone calls and Facebook updates, but honestly, she seems alright. I, I still prefer Papyrus and Sans, but, you know, Alphys is okay. Hey, cool dude. I thought for sure if I went to Hotland, I'd sell some nice creams. But nobody wants them. Everybody's just eating Starface and Glam Burgers. So, I'm having a going out of business sale. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, only 12 Gs. You got the nice cream. Does it just melt immediately in Hotland? Eh, instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice, yeah. Okay. Oh, the stage! Alright, well, at least I know where that is. And then down was... We fell down into the puzzle trap. Okay, and then right... Have we been here before? Hey, hey! Did you remember my name? Uh, maybe? What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? I'll always remember that you remembered. It was like Flame Guy or Hot Dude. We've got R3. Pretty sure this is where we need to go anyway, right? Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Sounds like a trap. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure, why not? Great, thanks for treating me. <laughs> have any money over here I know a shortcut he knows all the shortcuts well here we are so your journey's almost over huh you must really want to go home hey I know the feeling bucket but oh though maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you down here 
You got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, uh, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she he knocks and says, Knock, knock. And I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again. And so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know, what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, line up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, Chuck, I wonder if he actually keeps track of your deaths. Like, if you die and reload, does he know? <laughs> Chuck it up to my great skills. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Sans, you're a little scary, but it's all right. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. The, the someone is Toriel. And I think we killed her by accident. Oh, I got a little heavy. Sorry, Toriel. I didn't know really how the spare system worked back then. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Ficus, I believe. It's a potted plant. Apparently it's a ficus. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. That's all they ever watch down here. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. Yeah, so just to stop for a second, there's definitely something up with Sans, right? Like, he's a joker, but like, he just teleports everywhere, and apparently we're only alive because he didn't want to kill us, because he promised Toriel. A performance schedule, comedians, dancers, Sans, seems to be a break. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, uh, two feet 
without being up to your armpits and puzzles. You know, it's nice, a little nod to why is the game designed with all puzzles? Well, they were doing it to keep humans away. That's actually kind of nice. Rather than just randomly puzzles everywhere. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Just one, I just love the puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at all my jokes. Now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. And a terrible comedian. Now... I just want to say, it is possible we ran into a monster that looked kind of like this guy a long time ago and we may have killed it. I forget. And it may have been telling us terrible jokes. Look, I don't know. I try to spare some things, kill some things. I'm not really terribly worried about it, but... Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay, I get it. So is this just the side entrance for this area, maybe? This The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. So, this is a really good fountain, by the way. There's an inscription on the fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built 21X. Meditan added last week. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Well, let's see where, like, there's this dark, dangerous alley that apparently has a shop in it. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. So, like, what's up? I'm Braddy, I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy Caddy. Okay, I tried, guys. <laughs> so, like, what's up? The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked all buy it all, yeah. Origin of wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... <laughs> we found it in the garbage. It's good, like, really good garbage. <laughs> Origin of garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh! Uh, waterfall, I found it in a dunster. <laughs> Alright, these two are pretty funny. Oh my god, Meditan! There's some different accentuation depending on who you're reading along with. He's like, actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like, already married both to him. Both going, yeah. He just like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alphys built Meditan, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Meditan's always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. <laughs> old? Oh my god. I wasn't sure if it was actually older. <laughs> It's like, even the, the dialogue choices don't know what's going on anymore. Oh my god, Alphys. Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then, she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So, Alphys has always, like... Thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. 
or her at all. She must like just stay in her lab all day. Like live a little girl. Yeah, like us. <laughs> these these two little gossip girls. <laughs> oh my god, he's a fuzzy goofball total goober. Like he's like I love that guy. He's so nice. God, we're like so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Great. Yay! Hey, check it out! Alright, what you got? What you got, girl? We got an empty gun with no bullets. We got a cowboy hat. That gives you attack, maybe. I could have I could afford both of those. Probably to someone's house, lol. Let's just buy the guns. Can we sell anything here? Probably not. Thanks, but we like don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go have some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand G's if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Okay, hold on. Let me reorganize my inventory and then we'll uh, equip the empty gun. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to do for us. Empty gun. An antique revolver. No ammo. Must be used precisely or damage will be low. Uh-oh. What did I do and buy? Something that's very difficult to use. But it has more stats than the pan, right? Now the pan was cool because... Consistent damage, and if you healed in combat, you get more out of it. But I haven't had to use very many healing items, so... I'm just gonna store it away for later then. Um, see you later, burnt pan. Okay. We can buy, uh, we can buy the armor, whatever it was. Cowboy hat! Attack up instead of regeneration. We're gonna be rich, she says! Alright, new cowboy hat. Armor 12. This battle-worn hat makes you want to grow a beard. Even if you're a lady. Attack plus 5? Sweet! That's better than regeneration, maybe? Look at all those stats. We got like 35 attack power now. An empty gun and a cowboy hat. 27 kills, 14 gold. Okay. I'm glad that it keeps track of your, uh... Why did I go back to the shop? <laughs> this is like muscle memory from JRPGs. You buy a new gun or an armor and then you sell it immediately. <laughs> ah... I know you can't sell anything in this game, and I still just automatically go back to, okay, I picked something up, sell it. So, it's just a regular wall. Unless Sans is here, and you can just walk right through it. Alright. Save it up. I feel like I could use a lot of money, but, uh, 14 gold's not gonna get us there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight, uh... I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is doing its best to accommodate everyone stuck here. How convenient for me to not be able to take the elevator. As a slime, I'm outraged. It's just in use. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, trademark. So if I could afford a glam burger, I wonder if I could actually sell it to those girls out there. I should have checked this store, but first. So we've got Starfay. Oh, this is what that nice cream guy was talking about. Starfay glam burgers. A legendary hero that gives you more attack up. That's pretty nice. A steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Please don't ask. Um, I wonder if you could like... Maybe you could bring those to the girls outside and sell them for a profit or something. I don't know. The customer is always right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Well, I have no money to buy anything. Maybe if I come back with 60 gold, we can talk. Have a sparkular day. He's way too happy for us to leave. <laughs> yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold per room. Interested? I have no money. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. Is everything in here going to try to kill us later on? Oh, it's the core. 
I think Alfie said we had to go there, so let's check the side route first. The core has the elevator to, uh, the capital or something. Or maybe that was this room, I don't know. Ooh ah, Room service! Got my CT? Oh, I think I ate it. That would have been interesting. If you knew that you needed to save a CT, you could bring it here. For something, I guess. Maybe. Wah! Cinnamon buns. I don't think I have any of those either. Are you really supposed to, like, play through the whole game? Well, you might be able to go back, right? Like, if you could find the original store that sold all that stuff, you could put it in your box and then bring it here. But I don't think I have any cinnamon buns left or any of that. Sadly. You hear shuffling. It seems like you could put something under the door. Put a dog residue in front of the door? Why did that happen? Two dog residues slide out. Great! This is the stuff from the super dog. I wonder if you can, like, sell it to the Temmies for tons of money or something. Let's, uh... Put some dog residue away, please. Seems busy. This guy's having a hard time mopping. Wait, what did I just find? Learning how to draw. Come to the art lessons on the second floor. Located in a similar place. I, uh, I do have to say that the sort of Grimer type uh, janitor is kind of funny. So I guess we can't... Use the elevator. Guess we're going to the core, everybody. I don't know how to get to the second floor for the art lessons right now. Uh oh. Two two guards? Huh? Who are they? No, nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well. We can't worry about that now. Ready? This is it! Take the elevator up to the top to the core! We're just gonna skip all that last stuff there? I don't know. I'll try! The elevator isn't working. <laughs> what? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Classic. Alright. All right, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. So the little uh, gnome guy did say something about this being a puzzle that changes or you can swap stuff out or something. I don't know. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Uh-oh. Watch out. Magic. It's magic! Clear your mind. You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. You get plus one defense. Hocus pocus. Alright. Magic whispers arcane words. Swear words? There will be none of that on this channel. Please and thank you. Whoa! Strange eyes. Ooh, the toy gun, or, or real gun with no bullets. Doing good work. Th that was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Uh, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. So move, move, stay. I'll try to remember. I tried, but I failed. <laughs> I didn't know they'd be sweeping past me like that. Oh my god, are you hurt? I... I'm so sorry. I gave you the wrong order. 
Oh, it was blue, blue, orange instead of orange, orange, blue. Uh, I wonder if she's trying to kill us. <laughs> Is she? She did build Medita. A crossroads. Uh, uh. Try heading to the right. Hmm. Maybe she was correct. Night, night. I don't want to sing to him. I already tried singing. The robot tried to kill me. Ooh, growly. Growly. He's very, uh, bright. I wonder if I have to get the reds to really do full damage with this gun. It said it needs to be accurate to do most of the damage. Oh, I could have spared him. Sorry, Knight. I didn't see it was yellow in time. Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? C come on, you trust me, don't you? Less than I used to. Although... This didn't seem to work out, so maybe I should have listened to her. Look. Papyrus and Sans, they earned their trust. You've been kind of suspicious all along. I don't know what to say. Plus, you lied to me last time, maybe. More lasers! Okay, I won't mess around this time. Like last time when you told me the wrong thing? I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I... It's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for the whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. They're gonna zap me right when I walk in front of them. Anytime. Anytime now. Oh, wait, stop! The power is turning itself back on. Damn it. This isn't supposed to... I... I'm going to turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You, you won't get hurt. I guess if she was legitimately trying to kill us, she would just leave them off right- leave it on right now forever. Okay, I see. Tricky. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, Alphys, you got a little bit of trust gained back. Everything's under control. Maybe she's just not quite able to control all this stuff that she says she can do. Okay, you should, you should. I don't know. This doesn't look like a map at all. I'm sorry, I, I, I have to go. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination. I believe when you do the, uh, there's some, um, Sciencey stuff where you split water into oxygen and, and hydrogen, you end up getting a, an ozone-y smell in the atmosphere, right? There's a few reactions that give kind of that ozone smell. North, the warrior's path, the sage's path. Any path leads to the end. What about ending the episode path? East, the end. Well, I don't know. Let's try west first for no specific reason. Hey, the ice blocks from Ice Snowden. Steaming up the area. That's fun. Solve this puzzle and the end will open. Okay, well maybe I should go this way then. Hey, I like these puzzles. Okay, so we gotta get two shots. I can do it right now. Cool. So theoretically, that opens up another path for us. Oh, we're back here. Or somewhere. Traverse the northern room and the end will open. This is not the same. Alright. This is a bit mazy for sure. There's a Glamburger inside. Sure. 
Why not relax and have a nice snack? This is this is the kind of area where I'm like, should I be checking the walls or something? Just a just a just a potion, you know, just a potion. Let's see what's over here. Okay, that took me back. Okay. So we've got up, we've got right, we've got up, up, and we've got up, left, up. We haven't gone any of these directions yet. Uh-oh. More monsters. Whimsalot and Final Froggit. Get out of here, Whimsalot. Woof. Oh, it's one of these things. He's like... More aggressive than the last Froggit. You are intimidated by Final Froggit's strengths. Almost one shot. Love increased! You guys are trying really hard, aren't you? The mercenaries emerge from the shadows. Over a hundred. Alakazam! Oh boy. Oh, this is a lot of stuff to dodge. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get everything. Get out of here, magic. Oops, missed that last one. You gotta get the rhythm of the tapping. That's pretty good. Farewell, he says. Oh, I see. All right, you guys are getting annoying here. What a nightmare! Three at once! Get out of here, Froggit. Don't pick on me! Look, you're picking on me. I'm just trying to get out of here. Whims a lot. Is that so? I'll dismissively shake my head at you. This is kind of... A little bit hard to dodge. Astigmatism, ew. Get out of here. You won! Got the most experience ever. Well, we hit a switch. I don't really know exactly what it'll do, but... Well, there might have been a sign that said, you know, press this switch and then yada 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 something something. The end will open. So that's like two switches that say the end will open. Get lost and stay that way. Okay, let me heal up. Conveniently. Now, they said the end was to the right and Warriors was to the north. To the east, this is the end. I cannot fight, I cannot think, but with patience, I will make my way through. Okay. I'm just trying to map this area out a little bit, that's all. And this connects up to that room we just fought our way through. Okay. So we've got two paths left. 100 Gs! So, technically we could go by... There was a couple things in the last town we could buy, but, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing with all those random weird stuff. I feel like we'd have to spend a lot of time backtracking to figure it out. Oh, I should probably end the episode pretty soon, shouldn't I? Astigmatism. Oh, sorry, Mr. Sorry, Astigmatism. I didn't realize you wanted to be spared. 
Okay, you know what? We're already over length on our episode. I apologize. I thought we would uh, be able to get a little bit further, but I'm already, I realize, at 40 minutes. So let me go back to the save point, and then we'll uh, call that an episode. At least I know how to get through the little maze here. Alright, so that'll have to do for today. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more Untale as we try to get through the core.